Welcome to CorelDRAW for the Laser. My name is Robert Hensley. I like to create and share lessons and tips for owners of laser and engraving systems. This lesson is cropping an image in CorelDRAW's photo paint. I will be using the cutout lab option. This option is in both Corel photo paint versions X3 and X4. Photo paint is included in most versions of CorelDRAW's graphics packages. If you don't have photo paint, you will not be able to do this lesson. This lesson begins in CorelDRAW, a program that you are familiar with if you own a laser. CorelDRAW offers a property bar link directly to photo paint. I find that many users don't take advantage of many of the options in photo paint, but the importance of the cutout lab option to the laser owner might get you to try this feature. I've imported a picture into CorelDRAW. I want to crop or remove the background uh, around the truck. With the background gone, I can place the image in a variety of new settings. To get started, select the picture with your pick tool. Okay, that's deselected, pick tool, and select. You can see the handles around the image. After selecting the property bar, changes. Now, I'm putting, move or removing this just to show you so you can see what the name of the property bar is. So we can use the correct name and you've become familiar with them. Just double click to send it back up there. On the property bar, you're going to see the most common uh, options you can do when editing this photograph. In the middle of the property bar is the edit bitmap. This is the link to uh, photo paint. So let's edit bitmap. And the image in Corel Draw is automatically opened in photo paint. Here's a quick tip. Just press the F4 function key and your image will fit in the window. Remember, many of the shortcut keys used in Corel Draw will also work in Corel Draw's photo paint. From the image pull down menu, select the cutout lab. Your image now appears in the cutout lab dialog. I will be using the highlight tool right here, highlighter tool F5, uh, to draw around the truck. So you select it. Now all I have to do is hold down the image. You barely can see the size. We'll adjust this later on, but you can see the size of it. And we'll just go around it real quick. And this is just an intro. This is not our final by any means, just to show you what we're going to be doing. Okay. I held down the left mouse button as I went around to make the uh, highlighter tool work. Next you want to use the inside fill tool. And we select here and we go to preview and we'll see the results. Now we did that just real quick just to show you what our, how quick and easy this can be. But we want to do a little bit better. Now let's restart. So we'll cancel this. It takes us back into photo paint, image, cutout lab. Now we're going to be working with just a couple of tools in here. So the first one is our zoom tool. And we're just clicking with our left mouse button to get up a little bit closer. That's about where I like to work with. And we're also going to be using the hand tool. So we can move this around to get to all the different parts of the image. Okay, and the highlighter tool. We can see the size of this highlighter tool is a little bit bigger than our first thing. We want to get a size that doesn't get too much of the background and too much of the truck. If we get it too small, it's going to be hard to go around it. If we get it too big, we'll get too much of the background into it. So let's just start here. As you work with it, you'll find out what works best for you. So we've selected the highlighter tool and we can start drawing. Now, I really like this function in Corel Photo Paint. I can stop it any time, go in a different direction, just whatever is easy for me to do, whether it's to push the mouse or pull the mouse. And another thing, when you're doing this, make short strokes. That way, if you want to hit Control Z, it will undo just what you did in case you made a mistake, and you can continue right back again where you were. Now, there's a real shortcut uh, tip. Uh, if you hit the space bar, it will pick the last tool you selected. That happens to be the hand tool. So, in this particular case, I'm going to move over here. And I see I did make a mistake right across here, so I'm going to hit the Control Z. I'm going to hit the, see the hand tool icon, hit the space bar, and we're back here. So now we're just going to start drawing the image. I stopped, started again, I stopped, start again, and I'm just trying to split the image like this. Space bar, move it up, space bar back to the drawing tool. 
where there's a co good contrast like this bumper, where you have a light and dark, you can move a little faster when you get into some of the bushes and things will slow down. But this part is pretty easy. The program does a really good job. Let's stop and I'm going to go back this way. Space bar. And I can, my mouse is easier to push than it is to pull. So I made a little mistake there. I think I'll go back. Probably wouldn't have shown up, but I just want to make it a little bit better. Okay, and stop and start. Go around this image. Stop and start. Okay, space bar, hand tool. Move it up. Space bar again to move back. Let's go back down here. And this is the easy part because of the contrast is so high. Okay, space bar. Space bar. Space bar. Space bar. Space bar. And again, real good contrast here. Now we're getting a little more difficult to contrast, and we need to make sure that we don't waver too much because we'll pick some of the outside. So let's just make sure that we're right down. Do it a little slower. Stop. A little bit slower. Okay. I also use Photoshop and I find that the Corel Draws Cutout Lab works a lot better because I can start and stop. Now I'm not saying one program is better than the other, but for what I'm doing here, this is much easier. Okay, so we've always gone around. Next thing we do, we go to our Inside Fill tool, fill it, and we hit Preview. And you can see, and you can see it a little bit up here, but it's not going to make too much difference right now in this particular image. Okay, we're about to save the image. Uh, to start out with, let's just make sure that the cutout is selected. As you become more uh, friendly in uh, Photo Paint, you'll look at these other two options. But right now, let's just say okay. Okay, and there we have our image. It's a pretty good job of this with just a short period of time. Now one thing you do need to do, you need to go in here and say File, Save As, and be sure and save it in the native format of this program, which is CPT. And then when you open it again, you won't have a background. If you do save it as JPEG or as some other, uh, like a bitmap, you will add a white background to it, and all the work you've done is to nil. So just be sure and save that. Now. All we need to do, and like just like in Corel Draw, we can hit Control C, hold down the Control C, hit the C button, and it copies it to the clipboard. Now all we're going to do is go back over here to Corel Draw, and I have a little thing I've made up for this particular image, and I'm going to hit Control V, and so it's pasting that image, that background, right in here, and there's my image, and you can see there's no background. I'm going to move this up just a little bit where it's off the page to show you. And then I'm going to come in here and just adjust this to my likings just a little bit. You can do all the editing. That's all there is to it.